Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. Okay. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Well, she Fine. won't, but I will. Let's get it over with then, shall we? Yeah. I'd like to go home at last. With your cat. Of course. Tea cup. I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Right. Are you living alone at the moment? No. Teacup lives with me. I live on my own. And it suits, and it suits me, just me just fine. I don't need anyone. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I have my little bit of space. And it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. What do you do for a living? I like this answer. I'm a waitress. I work in a cafe. You do? Do you like it? It's, it's okay. okay. I don't mind <laughs> it. It's just a job. It's important to keep busy. I'd advise you get back to work as soon as next week. Okay. I will. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What uh... is the first thing you do each day? Okay. I drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. I eat breakfast cereal usually. Have a cup of tea and read a newspaper. I lay in bed awake. Can't bring myself to open my eyes. I go to the toilet. Doesn't everyone? I put the TV on so I can watch old TV shows. Uh, it's in between the strong coffee and the sarcasm. Uh, I think we're gonna have to go with sarcasm. I go to the toilet. Doesn't everyone? Fair enough. What is the next thing you do then? <laughs> oh, I, know I don't know. Do, I just muddle through, I guess. Don't think there's any routine to it. It depends how I feel that day. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? I... Yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad guard. for a long time now. Really sad, you know? You know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. Happy, it makes me feel more like people. a failure. If I don't see it, it doesn't hurt that much. Come on, Susan. What Liz do you think you is missing be. in your life? Or Can rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Teacup. It would be nice to have some more money, I guess. A good friend, someone I could finally trust. I I know it's silly, but I wish I was better looking. Something to fight for, you know? A reason to go on. That one. Something to fight for, you know? A reason to go on. And There's I can't always fight a reason to live. Sometimes we just don't see it that clearly. Well, Doctor, I must have gone all blind then, because I can't see any. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression or some other form of counseling? Do, do, do. Yes, it didn't help that much, as you can see. No, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Let's say yes. Yes, it didn't help much, as you can see. Just something to think about. I can see you're really willing to open up and talk about your issues. That's a positive sign. Really? I've I, been trying to choose the one most I haven't really talked close. about my feelings for a long time. You're doing very well so far. Do you have problems sleeping? No. Rarely. I sleep well most nights. With teacup if curled anything, up next to I me. I probably sleep too much. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? Ecstatic. I feel fine now, definitely better than before the accident. Woohoo! No. I feel fine now. I feel like I want to change my life for the better. Yeah! Go Not Susan. really sure how yet, but I really want to try. I am convinced that Do you, you find are not it help hard to concentrate? Nope, not really. No, not really. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? No. That's good. Alcohol is a powerful depressant. I never really liked drinking. Excellent. 
Sometimes, when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know why it got into me. But I used to think about it sometimes. Oh, uh, yes, I think about it often. That well, I used to think about it sometimes. Don't you think about it when you're really down? Susan, I'm a psychiatrist. My job is to talk people out of it. Would you ask a fireman if he ever thinks about setting fire to his house? Yes. I suppose not. But I'm sure That's lots of people question. have times when they do think about it. I couldn't dolphin say. Dolphin trainer, do you ever the think about training The statistics show that men are three times more likely than women to commit suicide. Ouch. That puts you in the minority. Sexist. But of course, no, that's missing the point. What? Suicide is never the solution. There's always a way of solving whatever problem you might have. I realize that now. Tetris! Please, or, in your uh, own Rubik's words, Cube. try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? Yeah. Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. Take I kept up. thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I tried. I really tried to find something. Took a long bath, picked up a book, watched some television. Oi! But I just couldn't get into anything. Teacup. All those things seemed like worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete, needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. Ouch. I, I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. Eek. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? You know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Not anymore. Not anymore. It's strange. But I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? Teacup. What makes you feel better? Teacup! Of course you know what I want to say. You know it, because I've been saying it the whole damn let's play. My, My cats. cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? When teacups don't come. Oh, um, I hate it when it rains all the time. Noise. Too much noise really upsets me. Loneliness. I wish I had someone to talk to sometimes. Noise. noise. Too much noise really upsets me. I can hear everything through the thin walls of my flat. I have this neighbor. He often parties late into the night. It drives me crazy. Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? God, this is so depressing. Why does he keep asking depressing stuff? Oh, that one. I never really thought about that, but I guess it would be a cheap one. I don't really know what they do with people like me. Maybe they just throw us in a hole and forget about it since there'd be nobody to visit my grave anyway. I don't think so, Susan. The city would pay for it. Or so they want people to believe. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Who's Eric, Eric Susan? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? about this. This has nothing to do with him. Can I go home now, please? There's nothing to talk about. It's getting late. Can we talk about it some other time? That one. This has nothing to do with him. Can I go home now, please? Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay. One more question. This is just a formality. But I have to ask. Are you going to do it again? Yeah. That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We're nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. 
the floor. What exactly happened last night? After I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly was with Batman. me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. Liz. I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Liz! Hurry! I'm hurrying, Liz! Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Uh, uh that doesn't instill me with faith. Go to. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. Well, we could just look at that, that man. Um, da -da -dum -dum -dum. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. Okay. Left. Go to... Sounds like it's going up. Um. What? What are we doing on the roof? What are we doing on the roof? Liz. Liz? What the hell are you doing? Holy shit. And why is there blood on your clothes? Liz. It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Is it? Let's both jump. It won't hurt, you'll see. This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. Yeah. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. Sure you no do. one ever listened to me. You no one ever cared. Me. I listened. You're a nice girl. And Tika. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Yes. Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. Yeah. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? Sure. The one about the woman in A and E? Yep. That was incredibly disgusting. She Yeah, she smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay, you have listened. Maybe you're right. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. I don't think I could make But I up. must jump anyway. I have no choice. You should do. Wait, please stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. So you, you can choose to come back inside with me, and we'll just forget this like it never happened, okay? Yeah, I agree. Do you remember that other thing I told you? Probably. I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? Yep. I bet you don't remember that. She's a stripper. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think she is. You've listened. I just wish other people did. 
Yeah, I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care anyway? Because you're Liz. I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. Aww. I thought you of all people knew how it feels when you're trapped and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. Yeah, well, he's a he shit. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. Really worse than yes. wedding day. Valentine's Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. We you so really can. listened to everything I said after all. I I'll be back. When you need help, I'll be there, Susan. But right now, it's time for me to let go. No. You're mental. After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's all right. She might be all Stop left. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. Yes, you do. We all love Liz. The door is locked? Yeah, why is the door locked? I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. Could be. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. It wasn't all bad. I like your uh, green eyes and your away. sleek cheekbones. Get away You're from a me. clever girl, Susan. But the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. Ah. But I was happy. For what, what are you doing? Worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. Susan's leg? 